Hey, I'm Joe with The Color of Marriage, and I want to help you as a Christian husband to love better, lead smarter, and get more respect, even when you feel like there's no hope. And this is something that I know that you want as a husband. You want to love your wife better. I know you want to lead your family, your marriage, in a smarter way, and you definitely want to get more respect. So I want to help you with this. Let me explain. Throughout the Bible, God gives husbands like you and I instructions, directions, and commands that represent a call to action to become more than an ordinary husband. Now, I remember the day when I got that call, that is the call to become more than an ordinary husband. And by the way, we all, at one time or another, as a Christian husband, will receive that call. Again, when I got that call, I was driving home from school with my wife, and we were having a really intense discussion. I'm sure you can recall you and your wife having something similar to that. During the conversation, I found myself getting angry and raising my voice at her in an effort to get her to see my point of view. And let me tell you, this happened more often than I would like to admit. And it happened because I didn't see another way to reach her to get my point across so that she would understand what I was trying to say to her. And I'm quite sure you can relate to this. There's many times when you feel as though you can't get your point across to your wife as well. And I want to help you with that. If you want to receive the help, then continue on. Like I said, this happened a lot. That is the anger, the raising of my voice. And it became very frustrating, like I'm sure it is for you. But it was not only frustrating for me, but it was frustrating for her as well. And you know also that it's frustrating for your wife as well, too. And you don't want her to be frustrated. You don't want to be frustrated. So let's do something about that. Again, all of this happened because I didn't know what else to do. And I was losing hope very fast. I definitely was. I didn't know what else to do. I really didn't. Now, my question to you is, are you losing hope? I know it's very easy to lose hope when you don't see any resolution to the frustration that's going on in your marriage. Are you losing hope? You know, I definitely was. I definitely was. Which is why I'm very thankful that I got the call to become an extraordinary husband that night. You know, the night doing the car ride home from school when me and my wife was having this intense conversation. I got the call to become an extraordinary husband. Here's how it happened. God reminded me of a verse that I knew and quoted quite often. But I failed to put it into action in my marriage the way that I should have. Because I was only understanding it from my point of view. And not God's point of view. We all do that. God is speaking to us at all times. And we're not really understanding things from his point of view. We are only understanding things from our our point of view. And when we begin to understand things from God's point of view, that's when the change begins to play, take place like it did for me. Are you ready to accept your call to become an extraordinary husband? Are you? Can you imagine the transformation that accepting your call to become an extraordinary husband will create within your marriage, your wife, your children, and within yourself? And may I add your sphere or circle of influence? Because people are looking at you all the time. They want to see how you are handling your difficulties. This masterclass, this extraordinary husband masterclass is going to help you with everything that's going on in your marriage that's frustrating you. It's going to help you get things better. Maybe you are doing things good already, but you want to make things better. This Extraordinary Husband Masterclass is going to help you with that. Wherever you are at in your marriage, you're going to be able to improve if you take the time to get into this Extraordinary Husband Masterclass. Can you imagine the transformation again that accepting your call is going to make in your marriage? Just imagine it right now. Imagine what your marriage will be like right now if you accept your call to be an extraordinary husband. Think about what does it mean to you to be an extraordinary husband? Think about that. 
Think about that. When you accept your call to be an extraordinary husband, things will begin to line up in your marriage like never before. That's what happened with me. Things began to line up, but it didn't happen overnight and it didn't happen without a struggle. You know, I had to go through some things in order to get my marriage, our marriage, where it is today. It's not perfect, but hey, it's a whole lot better than it was. And so were yours. You know, things are going to start to line up in your marriage moment by moment, day by day, and year by year as you begin to lead your household smarter as God leads you. That's the only way you're going to lead your household smarter is if you allow God to lead you. Remember, we talked about understanding things from God's point of view and not just your point of view. When you understand things from God's point of view, that's when you can lead your household smarter. That's when you can love better. That's when you can gain the respect that you want. That's where you can start having peace in your home. You won't have the difficulties that you're having right now. Sometimes you might not even want to go home. I know I was there. I didn't want to go home. I didn't want to come home to all the rigmarole or all the craziness that I knew was going to take place. And I know many of you are right there right now. And many of you have gotten past that and you want to just make things better. So you can do that. You definitely can. I know that you can. I did it in my marriage because I was led by God and you can do the same thing if you are led by God as well. You know, like I said, I can tell you how accepting God's call transformed my marriage like I just did. And, and listen, you can get the same results. You can expect to achieve the same or similar results in your marriage as I did. You can. All you have to do is be willing to put in the work to get it done. Nothing comes easy. Come on. Don't think that something's going to come easy. It's not going to come easy. Marriage is work. Marriage is work. You have to change your mindset about trying to get something easy. What in life have you accomplished that was easy, that was worthwhile having? Nothing. Everything that you accomplished in life that was worthwhile having, you had to put work into it. Beginning with learning how to talk, with learning how to walk, so forth and so on. Marriage is not easy. But you know what is worthwhile if you learn the skills that you need, if you get the resources that you need, and if you pick up the tools that you need, it can become easier. Now, you know, that night when I accepted my call, I learned three things that night that propelled me into action to become an extraordinary husband and to become the extraordinary husband that my wife and family needed me to be. And God commanded me to be again, your wife, your family, your circle of influence needs you to become a extraordinary husband. You need to become an extraordinary husband. You got to believe that you don't want to stay in the same state that you're in right now. You want to move forward. And by the way, like I just said, your wife needs you to be an extraordinary husband more than you think she does. Come on. She really does. Your wife needs you to be an extraordinary husband. More than you think she does. More than you think she does. Now, the first thing that I learned that night was that anger would not change how my wife reacted to me. And that it would only make things worse between the two of us. Can you agree with that? I'm sure you know that you, just because you get angry with your wife, it doesn't change anything. It's not going to cause her to do what you want her to do. And, you know, scriptures tell us that, you know, man's anger does not bring about the righteous living that God requires of us. We have to do better. We have to learn to manage our anger and we have to do this thing a different way. God wants us to do it a different way. He's going to teach us a different way. And you're going to find out later on that God showed me a different way. Um, you know, in the master class, I'm going to explain to you that different way and you're going to learn that different way and you're going to learn how to teach others that different way as well. So the second thing that I learned is, again, God had a better way, like I just said. He had a better way that I could use to resolve the conflicts and challenges that my wife and I was having. And God's going to teach you through this master class, this extraordinary husband master class. He's going to teach you and you're going to be able to teach others. We're going to teach each other. Everybody in the master class is going to be responsible for bringing content to the table. Don't let that run you away. That Don't let that bring fear to you. You can do this. I know that you can. You 
can do this. If I could do it, I know you can. I'm nobody special. I just let God speak to me and do what he tells me to do. You could do the same. Listen, your marriage is worth it. It's worth you doing the, the, the work. God wants you to do the work. Come on. Do what God wants you to do. God has a better way for you. Now, the third thing that I learned, which is the most important lesson, and this is the most important lesson that you're going to learn as well, and it is learning how to submit to the urges of the Holy Spirit as he speaks to you during the difficult moments of your marriage and the not so difficult times as well. You have to do what God is asking you to do. This is the secret, folks. This is the secret, guys. This is the secret. If you want to transform your marriage, listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying to you. He's telling you now to take your place in this master class, this extraordinary husband master class. Take your place. Go ahead. Take your place now. It's worth the cost. It's going to go up more later on. So go ahead and take your place right now. It's well worth every dime, every dollar that you spend on it. You have to see that. Now, again, I ask you, are you ready to accept your call to be an extraordinary husband? Are you? Are you ready? Or are you going to remain in the same place? You got two choices that you can make right now. Two choices. Come on. They're e it's an easy choice to make. And maybe you're going to overcomplicate this. You shouldn't, but we, we have a way of overcomplicating things. Don't overcomplicate this. Two choices. Now, the first choice, I know you don't want to make this choice. You can continue to be frustrated, discouraged, and offended by the fact that you and your wife are unable to fully resolve your conflicts and challenges that you're having right now. You can remain being frustrated that you can't move forward, that you are stagnant, that you're still standing still. You can remain in a state of hum, ho hum, ho humdrum, or whatever you might want to call it. Move forward. Don't stay where you're at right now. Who wants to stay frustrated? Divorce is not the answer. I'm going to tell you that right now. Divorce is not the answer. Don't stay where you're at right now out of fear, uh, out of not knowing what to do, out of not wanting to make the investment in your marriage. Listen, this is a lifetime investment. You want your marriage to last. God wants your marriage to last. God says, I hate divorce. He doesn't want you to divorce. So listen, listen to me. Take the actions that you need in order to make your marriage the marriage that you want it to be, the marriage that God wants it to be. You know, you can remain feeling unappreciated, unwanted, unvalued, and misunderstood by your wife and many times your family as well. But I know you don't want to stay there. I know you don't. But if you don't make the choice, that's, that's where you're going to be. You already know that. If we don't take action, we don't stay in the same place, we get worse. You know that. We don't get better, rather. We get worse. You know that. Now, the choice that you can make right now is to take the next step to become an extraordinary husband. Like I said, just go ahead and become a part of the class right now. Go ahead, click the link that's below this video that's going to help you to become an extraordinary husband. It's that simple. Why, why would you not make that decision? That's, that's an easy decision to make. If you don't make that decision, that means you don't want your marriage. But but listen, you may feel like you don't want your marriage, but God wants you to want the, your marriage. You know God called you to marry the wife that you have. And because of the difficulties that you're having, it's smothering the feelings that you used to have. Come on, let's start taking those layers away, layers away, layers away, so that you can uncover the love that you once had for your wife. It's still in there. It's still there. It's still there. I know it is. You just got to resolve all those unresolved conflicts that you two are having that's an invisible barrier that's keeping you from seeing and hearing and feeling one another. Go ahead, make the choice right now. You're going to be glad that you did. And the more time you spend doing what you need to do, the more results you're going to get. So make the choice. Make the choice right now. Go ahead. Don't hesitate. Stop hesitating. What are you hesitating for? Stop doing it. Just make the choice. It's a smart choice. You know that it is. I'm telling you, I made the choice. And I'm glad that I did accept your call to become the extraordinary husband that God commands you to be, that you need to be, that your wife needs you to be, that your family needs you to be, that your circle of influence needs you to be. Go ahead and make the choice right now. 
Okay, so I'm going to see you on the other side and make the choice right now.